Hey guys, welcome to another streaming video. In today's video, it's going to be 25 reasons why Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is trash. This is a jokes video, so don't take it seriously. Although some of the points I make might be serious, but you should be able to tell which is serious and which are not when we get into it. Without further ado, let's go. So, um, why couldn't they have made Mario Kart 9? I already had this game on the Wii U, right? It's so annoying. Well, we got some great new characters, didn't we? Tanuki Mario. Cat Peach, Golden Mario, come on, these are so lazy Nintendo. So why don't we unlock any characters apart from Golden Mario? It does make you not bother playing all the cups. You pretty much have all the characters to begin with. The new me costume we got was so lame. It's literally just a helmet. I don't care about me being safe. He doesn't need a helmet, alright? Just make him look good. Why are coins still in this game? They're pretty much pointless. And just make getting an item box not worth it. And also, why did you get toy two coins when it only shows one? Hmm. Why did they choose to bring back the Super Mario Kart Battle Course? They could have Block Fort or Pipe Plaza or something much better. So they've now included a third drift boost. It's now purple. But the bad thing is, you'll literally never use it. Although the online mode is amazing in this game, the messages you can send between people are so boring and plain. There's a limit to how many times you can say good game to some random people. The me sounds are so stupid as well. Like we should be able to change the tone of our voice to make it sound a bit like us at least. I wish you could buy things with the coins you own instead of just unlocking some car cars and tires and stuff. Why is that bouncy leaf item thing back? I know it's only battle mode, but it's still pointless. No one wants it. I know sometimes having loads of characters is a good thing, but this is Mario Kart. There's at least 10 characters that have nothing to do with Mario in any way. At least call it Nintendo Kart or something. Why is Lakitu still a character? When Lakitu picks up Lakitu, this feels really wrong. And while we're talking about characters, Pink or Peach? How? Why? What? So many questions. Why can't we really on bikes anymore? It just makes the fights pretty much pointless. It's very sad. Why doesn't Bowser get a bike, a biker suit like the princesses? Come on, everyone wants to see Bowser in one of them. Why does the frame rate drop by literally half when playing in multiplayer? Come on, this is this game was made in 2017, and it feels like we're in the days of those typing Mario games. Why is there still no story mode in Mario Kart? Once you complete the Grand Prix in this Grand Prix in this game, there's literally nothing left to do in single player. Why weren't the menus changed at all from the original Mario Kart 8? Feels way too similar to that game. The Rainbow Road in this game is one of the worst yet. I'm not saying it's a bad track, but in terms of Rainbow Road, it's pretty trash. The new anti gravity feature was used a lot, but you can barely notice it for the majority of the tracks. They could have made it so much better. Although the battle mode was improved a lot after Mario Kart 8, it's still nowhere near as fun as the MK64 days. I still don't believe there are five Marios in this game. I wouldn't really mind if they were just skins like the Yoshis. It's taken up way too many slots. And finally, Luigi is way too good looking to be in this game, you can't lie. And before I go, I want to give a quick shout out to Tommy Time. I'll be shouting out a new subscriber every single video of mine, so make sure you subscribe. Drop a like if you enjoy it, because it does take a while to make these videos. Check out my Twitter in the description, because uh, I'm always consistent on there. And subscribe if you're new. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.